Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, I want to give you my guide to Genbo the Dishonored, who hopefully a lot of you uh, are going to be getting this month. He is the Prime Gaming Reward. I don't actually have Prime Gaming myself, so I don't have him from this. But if you do have Prime Gaming, uh, you can come and grab him for free in game. And Rachel Legends coming through in here, get your promo code. Might be worth holding on to the promo code if you want for a little while until the next champion chase event. If you wanted to get um, a free 250 points for an epic, actually I think it's 350 points for a void epic in champion chase. If you want to hold on till then, might be a good idea if you're trying to min max the fusion. But eh, anyway, let's dive in. Let's take a look at this. Uh, one of the first things I need to mention is that, well, at the same time that that promo is going on, if you're playing right now and you've got that promo, you will have also got Ronda. Now, Ronda and Genbo are very similar champions. They're both attack nukers uh, that are particularly good for the arena. Um, how do they compare? How does it actually match up? So I did a quick little thing, putting stuff together just in Notepad, right? So you can see, if you want to do this yourself, very simply, you just go over to like Hell Hades, for example has all the champion breakdowns. You can see the stats, obviously you can see that in game and he'll actually give you the damage multipliers like per hit of a skill. You can see how much damage comes from books, etc. And he gives them rankings as well. Um, but if you compare Genbo and Ronda, how do they compare? Um, Ronda versus Genbo, you can see that Ronda does have a little bit better base stats, kind of what you'd expect for legendary versus epic. Uh, and then sort of across the board, um, when you add on the extra effects that Rhonda has, that's what really pushes her ahead. So, for example, her AoE is slightly worse than Genbo's, but she does the slightly better base attack. But then she gets an extra 30% damage, which pushes her way ahead if she's higher on HP. Uh, her A1 hits slightly not as hard as Genbo, but she does a big chunk of extra damage for enemies lower on HP. And, of course, she's got that chance with her passive to join in and do that A1. Uh, her A2 massively hits way harder than anything Gambo has, that big single target hit. So overall, Ronda is definitely better. Why would you use Genbo? Well, there's a couple of reasons. And I also want to do this guide for obviously anyone that plays the game later and doesn't have Ronda or a champion like Ronda. Maybe you pull Genbo early and he's going to likely be your arena nuker for a long time because he's very, very good. Uh, Genbo, a couple of advantages. One, void affinity. So doesn't matter if you're up against any affinity enemy, he will still hit them properly. Uh, number two is his passive, that when he's under uh, increased attack, he ignores unkillable, which is very helpful against a few different champions you're going to see a lot of in the arena. So for example, earlier uh, into mid game, Skull Crown is extremely powerful in the arena. Uh, she gives herself unkillable when her health goes low. Later in the game, Leorius is like Skull Crown, but better. Uh, he also gives himself unkillable before he dies. So you're able to ignore that with Genbo, which is very strong. Uh, Swift parry set is something, this one, that you will see quite a bit early game in Arena. That really gets replaced by Stone Skin for the most part later on. But early game, you will see some Swift parry and Genbo will help with that. So he does have some advantages. I think uh, for me personally, if I had Ronda and Genbo, I would definitely be using Ronda in my main team. I do think she is significantly better than Genbo overall. But for my second nuking team, Gambo is definitely a strong one to consider. And like I said, he can sort of compete in the same ballpark as these legendaries even, because he just, he does do a very big hit that should be plenty of damage for the most part. And he ignores unkillable. So really um, from mid game, even going into late game, he's still pretty good. End game, obviously not, but even into late game, he is viable. So there you go. Anyway, look, let's dive in. Let's actually build up Genbo. Let's do it. We're going to build him together. One interesting thing, Genbo doesn't need 100% crit rate when we build him because he gives himself 30% increased crit rate, which is another perk there. So he gives himself that crit rate. We only need to build 70% on him. Let's do his masteries first. We're going to build him as a nuker. So we're going to grab the crit rate here. We're going to get crit damage. Um, two different sort of ways we could go here. I generally like to grab more damage to shields, especially if you don't have a buff stripper. And then we're going to get 8% more damage for the first hit on each enemy. Going to get more damage to targets at low HP. You can alternatively, you can alternatively come over here and get 5% more damage at max HP and get Whirlwind of Death. Now that's going to be probably a stronger option uh, if you don't have... Um, 
if you do have a buff stripper. So if you are going to be able to strip off the enemy shields, it's probably going to be better. And that's probably the way you're mostly going to run him. I'm going to run him like this, which is sort of generally good. Um, you could go either which way, though. Next up, we're going to get him, obviously, uh, more damage when attacking targets at higher max HP. You're going to get him kill streak, and we're going to get him Helm Smasher, which is our best arena damage mastery. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Obviously, if you've um, uh, gone this side and this side, you couldn't go straight to bring it down. You would have to get Wrath of the Slain, which isn't super useful. By doing this build, you could grab uh, more damage to targets that are CC'd, which is very good. That's typically what I would be grabbing here if we're going to run him with a crowd control champion, which is a very strong option. So I'm going to grab that one for now. Then we're just going to come over here to the defense tree, make him a little bit more survivable. It's not going to help you much, but it's something. So a chance to lose a debuff if he gets hit hard. He's very squishy, so that's decent. And then we'll get him a counterattack. And uh, again, I would probably be getting him stoked to fury here, which is going to give you more damage for each debuff. You know, if the enemy does cut in and get some debuffs, it's kind of decent. You could also get deterrence sort of up to you this is how i like to build nukers obviously there's different sort of ways the key ones are definitely getting the more damage on the first hit either getting shield breaker or heart of glory getting the crit damage stuff and of course helm smasher and bring it down um so there we go now let's build up his gear uh so ideally we'd love to get him i'm gonna not i'm not gonna put him in my best best gear um because i don't feel like that's going to be super relevant because my gear is going to be better than your gear would be when Genbo would be your best nuker. I'm going to sort of build him expecting that you've got Ronda in your best gear and you're putting your sort of second best gear on Genbo, but we're going to focus on stuff that's more mid-game stuff. We're going to be fighting tough opponents in the arena, so we want to give him a proper chance. Savage would be great, ignoring enemy defense. You stack that with the Helm Smasher Mastery gives you tons of damage anything that gives damage cruel isn't bad and you can get that from clan boss early on if you're super early on even crit damage attack anything like that can work basically anything that's going to give him damage if you can um, i'm going to break that rule a little bit so we're going to i think do a broken set because i was having a quick look at this earlier we're going to start off with crit damage gauntlets i think that's very important right Crit damage gauntlets will give you the best bang for your buck. If you don't have crit damage gauntlets, you could do attack percent gauntlets, but crit damage is generally going to be better. Uh, and it's great to put these on Genbo, especially because he only needs 70% crit rate. We're already starting from 20%. We just need to pick up 50% from the rest of the stuff. So we can take a look and see what we've got. That's got some crit rate. This, this one's okay. It's got a bit of... Oh, I'm slightly in the way. Oop. This has a bit of crit rate, a bit of attack percent. We're looking for sort of crit rate and attack percent are our two big things. I'll talk about the speed you might want in him soon as well. We'll just throw him in a general build first. Going to look for an attack percent chest. Uh, we're going to look for one with crit rate on it. Uh, our options are very limited. I just did a clear out. So this provokes that it's defense percent. It's not very good. Um, this one's probably the winner. Yeah. So we'll go. Well, this one's not bad either but it's only five star. We'll go with this one at six star. We've got some crit damage. We've got some crit rate attack percent. We will roll it up and there we go. And then we're going to try get him into savage if we can. So there we go. We do have savage speed boots rolled up with lots of attack percent. Cool. We'll put those on. And then sort of same thing. We're going to come across. We still need a good chunk of crit rate. We're going to keep looking for crit rate and we're going to go to savage. We do have stuff. Crit rate attack percent. Good. That's got a lot of speed. And we can probably get away with that. Yeah, we can. Uh, we, could, we could probably get away with any of these. I don't have a head. Okay, we're going to have to steal a headpiece. Hang on. Let me go equipped. Let's see what we've got in Savage. Um, not much. I don't use her. Speed, crit damage. That would work. This one's got a lot of crit rate. Attack percent, crit damage. Let's steal off Dark El Hain for now. We've got too much crit, right? Let me see one of these other ones. That's even more. That's a little bit less. We lose some speed. This looks pretty okay. Um, let me see. This will give us a good chunk more speed, more crit damage. We lose a lot of attack. I think this is this is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we're slightly overkill on the crit rate. Uh, we could actually change the mastery to an attack mastery, right? That starter mastery if we wanted. But I think this will do. 
Um, oh wait, this loses defense. We lose a lot of speed. We probably don't need too much speed. This gives us a good chunk more crit damage. Okay, I'll keep the speed. This is a more general thing. 170 is what I kind of like to aim for. This is a fine general sort of build. Let's throw this stuff on. That's a fine general build. Then for his accessories, let's go fitting room. And we're going to be looking for attack with attack percent substat on both the ring and the banner. Let's see. This one, let's roll badly. That one rolled very badly. We do have, this one will be perfect. I'm actually going to roll this straight up to 16. You don't, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm rolling this. Hey, roll well, because this is, um, it's a reaction ring, right? That chance to turn a, nor a crit into a normal hit. So that's amazing. I'd roll that anyway. So we're just going to do it for the sake of the video. Let's take a look here. This looks pretty good. Normally I'd roll stuff up to eight, see if it rolls well. Double roll into speed. Okay. And uh, two into flat HP. <laughs> That's what I get for rolling it all at once, huh? Um, let's just see if we get more rolls into attack. It doesn't really matter. We could always change the piece of gear uh, to make room for... That's ah, fine. You know, let's just give him this, this thing. I don't want to waste all my silver. He's getting actually pretty quick now. I might want to drop his speed a bit. Not essential, but I might want to. Then we're going to go into just, uh, oops, excuse me. Substats doesn't matter. We're going to go for crit damage on the neck. We've got one rolled up. That will do just fine. There we go. Great. Um, so he's actually pretty quick. <laughs> he's pretty quick. We might want to change this. One thing you could do, you, you could potentially change him into attack percent boost. Let's see if I've got any. Try not to spend too much time here. Attack percent. That's a terrible one, unfortunately. Uh, we lose a lot of speed there. Um, yeah. Okay, let, let me pause it back. I'll, I'll be back real quick. Might tweak a piece of gear. I won't make you watch it. Be right back. Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll actually switch him into that rare shield we had, uh, which is going to drop his speed a good chunk to something more like what you would have and actually gives us some more crit damage, which is pretty nice. We'll throw that on and we will just fully roll up at least these gloves. Oh, spending so much silver for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this this gearing process. Spending my silver. There's no events on right now, but we've got silver to spare. Oh, that actually gave him more speed. Hey, look, that actually works out well. We won't put glyphs on, but he's got 5,000 attack now. 252% crit damage. He's going to hit really hard. We've got a bit too much crit rate. Like I said, swapping this mastery right here would be great. But hey, look, that's good. If I glyphed him up, he'd do more. But let's, let's say almost no glyphs on the gear. This one has some. Okay, nothing too important. That sort of compensates for the great haul, at least a little bit. Um, but yeah, there you go. So the masteries, the build, they're good. Now, let me mention speed. And let's throw together an arena team. So let me come over here. And I saw there were some fun teams we could potentially attack in this particular squad. Uh, that could be tough. Uh, some very tough ones, but like let's hit this big defensive team first down here and we're gonna go in with a team like this so uh, if we go over to the uh, Bloop over on Deadwood Jedi's website. So deadwoodjedi.com slash arena dash calculator slash um, You do need to be a member so you need to uh, sign into your account over on Deadwood Jedi's make it I think it's a free account and sign in pretty sure but this is an arena calculator where you can speed tune your team. So I can come in, for example, and my Arbiter is running quite quick nowadays. Well, reasonably quick. <laughs> Some people have a lot more, but you can go in. I could put in my fastest champion. So I'm going to have an Arbiter, right? We're going to say we've got the Arbiter Aura. I will show you different teams as well. Uh, Arbiter is going to open with her A3. Uh, you, could, you could put in other stuff. You could put in like turn meter booster. That's fine. We can put in everything lore of steel. Um, I believe she has three speed sets. And then I'm going to use Arbiter Turn Meter Boost with increased attack. I'm going to have a Lissandra come in next with increased speed and more turn meter. We're going to have a Madame Ceres come in, strip their buffs, put decreased attack, decreased defense. And then we're going to have Genbo buff himself and hit them with this nuke. So that's how this should go down. So let's put this into the calculator. It will tell us what speeds we need. Uh, and this will just illustrate it for you. So Lissandra, we've got a Madame Ceres. And then we're going to have a Genbo, the Dishonored. Lovely. So, uh, what was it? 359 on Arbiter. So our actual speed after the aura and the set says 391.54. Lissandra is going to use Energize. She's going to be a turn meter booster. She's going to need to be 272 speed. And you can see we're actually really slow with these guys, right? 
<laughs> we need them to be very, very slow. Actually, you'd want her. I'm not sure why it's saying Genbo should be slower than um, Madam Ceres. That's not true. Madam Ceres should be faster than him. Just make her one speed faster. But they can both be super slow, and they're still going to get a go. So long as Arbiter goes first, um, so long as they hit these speeds, they will take their turns. So I think we've done that. Uh, Arbiter is 359. Yeah, great. Lissandra should be way faster than whatever she... Yes, yeah, she's 300, so she's plenty fast. Madam Ceres, I've got her pretty slow, 196, but she's got 700 accuracy. <laughs> so that's going to be fine. And then, oh, I've got rid of him. Genbo, of course, coming in here. Where have you gone, Genbo? There he is. So uh, let's go in. We'll do the first one on manual so you can see it. And this is a slow team. Now, one thing, we do have a... Never mind. We don't have a Valkyrie. It's a Martyr. Valkyrie can disrupt your turn meter. We don't have that. So we're going to just do all this boosting stuff. Madam Ceres is going to come in and debuff them. Now, some of the issues you could run into. Of course, reaction accessories. We mentioned them already. They can disrupt Genbo's damage. They can turn his crit into a normal hit, which would be unfortunate. So we're going to buff up here. Um, stone skin can also be a problem. Um, bolster set could be a problem. The buff strip will help with the stone skin, maybe half the time. There you go. Let's go in and see how hard he hits. Absolutely smashes them and one-shots these guys. So you one-shot them through a Krisk, uh, through these nice tanky champions. It's pretty impressive stuff. Let's take a look at this team. This team is nasty. They've got some really tanky champions. We'll see if we can pull this one off. I'm not sure. Let's give it a similar go. This is a much more endgame team we're up against now. Very endgame team, in fact. They've got stone skin on everyone, so our team here could very well flop. We have to strip their stone skin. The turn meter stuff that she tries to do gets blocked. We just have to pray at this point. They actually resisted. That is crazy. So they ha he, this guy has more than... He has probably 800 resistance on these champions. So now we're kind of messed up <laughs> because Gambo, he comes in. Guess what? They've got stone skin. It's not going to do anything. We'll just smack her because we got nothing else that we can do. We can attempt to strip their stuff here, but we're just going to lose this one pretty much. Ooh, that's good. So he's had his turn meter. Let's actually try push his turn meter back. It gets redirected, of course. Um, let me see. Let's just boost us up here. We can attempt to steal some buffs here from by her. All right. You're just going to hit him anyway. All right, Gembo, let's see what you can do. Ooh, and again, you can see the ally protection, the strength, and that stuff. Maybe he, he, he might have outrun increased attack, actually. So we are in some trouble with this team. It's not looking good. <laughs> this is almost definitely going to be a loss. Super tanky team. They've killed Gembo, and we're done. We're out of there. So, yeah, super tanky team. Late game, it falls off the neck rep. I think I might have misplayed it, but I don't think we were going to one-shot that more to anyway, unfortunately. So super late game team. A speed team against stone skin really starts to flop but until you get to that late game point it works pretty well let's try it against this team um let's do it full auto i'm curious so what i'd be loving to see would be to hit through the unkillable of this guy they could still have they don't have any stone skins so that gives us a chance let's see we debuff some of them gambo comes in boom and he one shots them so we actually rip through this team end game team but not really end, well apart from the lydia it's not super end game but not really end game gearing on those champions they got one shot gives you a gist uh this is a i mean these are both pretty typical speed teams so in this situation speed versus speed you just need to outspeed them uh, uh oh <laughs> in this case they outspeed us that guy's got a pretty quick arbiter faster than 359 that's unfortunate so this time again we're gonna lose What's my solution to this one? My solution is I basically never, ever run a speed team against the speed. I've been playing for over two years now. And just because people have been playing longer for me or people that are going to buy packs in the shop, they can be faster. I never run a speed team versus a speed team. It's just not something I'll do because it's just not worth the risk of losing. I just use stone skin. <laughs> just cheese him with stone skin. This guy's got much worse champions. Oh, that's interesting. Genbo... Huh, I didn't know that was the thing that would happen either. So Gembo used the wrong ability. Hang on. Uh, we are actually in quite a bit of trouble here. Let's try to steal these buffs. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's try to push his turn meter back. That might have triggered him. Oof, that's really bad. So Gembo, for whatever reason, 
We need to set up a preset. Interesting. Good to know. Gembo just didn't do his move, so you'd need to set up a preset. So we come to recently used. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, she's in the vault. So we'd have to come in, set like this. So you just open with that. Uh, uh, you can just open with energize. So you do one, two, like so. Madam Ceres. Actually, good idea to set up a preset for Madam Ceres as well. It's just set up a preset so they always do the right moves, basically. Gembo didn't kill them because he didn't give, give himself increased crit rate, increased crit damage. Good job, Gembo. <laughs> We'll go again. It's my fault. Gembo, it's not your fault. It's me. I didn't I didn't tell you what to do, and you did the wrong things. There we go. He does it right, and he one-shots them. So that you'll win the speed race. All right, that's one sort of team. Let's think about um, a different sort of team. Let's look at an earlier game team. Like, this team is a bit weaker, and we actually have the Leorius for some unkillable stuff. Let's stick with the preset. So let's do this without legendaries. Um, let's go by rank. Uh, you can use... You can use Genbo's Speed Aura. It's definitely something you can do. We'll keep the Madam Ceres in there because she's really strong. She'll give us a chance to win. Who would we maybe use? Um, where is Genbo? Genbo, Genbo, Genbo. Uh, he doesn't have any Awakening yet. So there we go. He'll fit in there. Let's stick in, let's say, a Seeker. Seeker's going to be great here. Seeker's going to come in. He gives us Turn Meter Fill, Increase Attack. That's going to work well. And then some other turn meter boost. You could use an apothecary. I don't know if mine has gear on at the moment or where he is exactly. Apothecary, I'm blind, can't see him. Where is he? He's level 35, that's why I couldn't see him. How fast is he? He's 270, he's a little slow. Let's say early game. This is something that you uh, might use though. Yeah, looks pretty decent early game. So you'd come in, apothecary open with his speed thing. Seeker is going to give us the increased attack. You basically, you want someone with increased attack for Genbo. Genbo boosts himself up. He's going to do his nuke. Madam Ceres is still going to do her strip. So it's the same idea, just our speeds are way lower. Uh, we might get outsped here, but um, we should hopefully be fairly safe. And yeah, we still have that advantage of hitting through the unkillable with Genbo, and he should still hit hard enough to disrupt the enemy team. So we get our speed stuff. He's going to go in and hit him. That's fine, I guess. She's going to strip off their buffs. Gambo goes in and boom, he nukes them and he kills them, right? He hits them super hard. He does the job and you don't have to worry about affinity. You don't have to worry about Leorius unkillable. It's going to work just fine. So it's very similar. It's the same idea as the last team. Just Arbiter is a better seeker and uh, Lissandra is a better apothecary. It's the same sort of concept, um, but that works just fine. Or again, uh, well, we can't use against that team. They're faster. Um, let me see. Oh, there's a Genbo. Someone actually using Genbo late game. He's just Arbiter and a bunch of nukers. I love it. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, we might just get outsped by, well, we won't get outsped by these guys. So let's come in. Another sort of team you could use. You could use with crowd control. Um, well, we could, yeah, we could keep her in there. That's fine. So we'll use our Arbiter. You could, uh, if you're going more late game, you could use someone like a Prince Kaimar. I might use Kaimar here. Um, you could use anyone with crowd control, right? 100% chance of crowd control is what you're looking for. Kaimar does it with the sleep. I'll just double check. Um, you could use a great butch option is, uh, where is she? Do I have her awakened? I might. A little dwarf, Canelia. Canelia is a great option. She, I don't have her geared right now. She's too slow. But she needs to be good speed and good accuracy. She doesn't have any accuracy or much speed. But she can come in 100% chance to sleep, AOE. So she can be a great budget Kaimar in this team. Let's put Gembo in. So the idea here is very similar. We're going to uh, boost up with the speed. We're going to have the buff strip, an extra buff strip with sleep. Madam Ceres is going to buff strip. And then same thing. We're going to sword, sword trance into Heartless Bliss blitz and uh go so same sort of gist here uh one downside we could weak hit with kaimar on this guy we outspeed them just fine arbiter sleeps through her turn so she misses her turn the advantage of this team versus a double speed team like kaimar versus uh lissandra basically it still has problems stone skin can still really mess you up but it helps a lot versus reaction um Especially because we got double buff strip. You've got, well, two chances to deal with stone skin, but you can still get unlucky. Uh, but by letting them sleep, 
Arbiter right there, she actually slept through her turn, reaction accessory stopped working, and then we can nuke them. In this situation, you probably want Genvo and Madame Ceres to be even slower uh, because they don't need any speed. Like you could switch Genvo into attack boots, attack percentage boots. Doesn't need any speed. They sleep through their turn and then you go and it works. And that's basically it. So yeah, there you go. Sort of a quick overview of, um, of Genbo and what he can do. He's a great champ. Very simple, straightforward, really. He just hits super hard and that's sort of it. I thought one fun thing here to do at the end could be to come in and just do a quick comparison because I was kind of curious of Rhonda. We'll use her aura, which is another sort of advantage that she has, kind of. Uh, I'd like to see 1v1. Pursuing the gear is somewhat comparable. Um, let's come in. Let's see this. Rhonda versus uh, Arbiter. So Gembo gets to go first. Let's see how hard Gembo can hit these guys at no sort of protection. Bam. Hits them pretty hard. Rhonda comes in and blasts one of them. Uh, and then we can see Rhonda against the rest. So if she kills them, if they're over half HP, she's hitting quite a bit harder. Pretty similar damage, honestly, between the two of them. Pretty similar. Um, yeah, they actually... Quite like for like there. Very, very, very similar damage output. Not quite a fair comparison, but fair enough to sort of make the point. Very similar damage, which is very impressive, honestly. Um, yeah, very impressive. There you go. Genbo. Uh, he's a cool, cool champion. Hits very hard. Ignores unkillable. He can also steal buffs with his A1, but basically that's what he's about. He ignores unkillable is easy enough to gear because of the increased crit rate and he just hits super hard as void affinity a great nuker uh really really strong like i said i i think ronda is slightly better actually genbo did better than i expected in that matchup to be honest with you that that's some points in his favor i do think ronda is better though slightly but genbo is very similar especially in arena not as good in dungeons at all but in arena especially very very similar um and he's also going to be a beast for faction war. So especially if you want a second arena team with a big nuker, Genbo does an amazing job and he gives you a backup nuker as well against force affinity enemies and enemies with unkillable. I'll see you all next time. I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know if you enjoyed like the structure, gearing and, and building teams and stuff. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.